I call the member for Robertson. Thanks, Mr Deputy Speaker. And over the past week, I've heard from hundreds of hard-working families and businesses on the Central Coast to get their thoughts on the budget. Many locals at, a, at an Edelong listing post stopped to ask us about our $45 million investment into a new Central Coast Medical School and Research Institute, and also our plan to address the GP shortage on the peninsula. The Treasurer came to the Central Coast and spoke to around 100 local businesses uh, about the benefits of, this, uh, of the budget for small businesses in West Gosford. And I do want to say thank you to the New South Wales Business Chamber, Central Coast Regional Manager Dan Farmer, Gosford Erina and Coastal Chamber of Commerce and Industry President Ali Bidler, Peninsula Chamber of Commerce President Matthew Wales and the team at the Entertainment Grounds for hosting this luncheon. We also met 300 community leaders and locals at an afternoon tea with Treasurer Morrison, where there was a great response to our action towards fully funding the NDIS, fixing local roads and getting a fairer deal from our banks. Later at Gosford at the Central Coast Leagues Club, the Treasurer answered questions on Paul Murray live on Sky News. Mr Deputy Speaker, this government is listening and acting in contrast to members opposite and to Labor, who in their latest media release continue to talk down the central coast with disgraceful and misleading scare campaigns. The fact is Labor are job wreckers on the central coast, opposing major initiatives like the 600 jobs we're delivering into Gosford and recently failing to even acknowledge the Medical School and Research Institute. Labor just Order. want to complain Order. what we're delivering. Order. Member's time has expired. I call the member for